In part one, we put all our sound treatment on the door and put it back together. We hadn't finished making the speaker brackets and all that yet. Now, of course, we had. Let's take a look at this factory speaker and compare it to the new speaker. For the front doors, we're gonna be going with the Ground Zero GZRC 165.2 SQ ACTs. They also make the non-ACTs, and the difference between the two is one is active, hence the ACT for active, and then one comes with the passive crossovers. When you get this version, the ACT or active version, it does not come with these crossovers. Let's take a look at the mid-base. Now the min base is also an aluminum min base with butyl rubber surround. It is just painted black. It has that Ground Zero logo in it. The power handling is 120 watts with 190 watt peak. It has 90 dBs of efficiency. And this is also a three ohm driver. We're gonna get a little bit more power out of our amplifiers. It has a mounting depth of 2.68 inches. It has a one inch copper voice coil. It comes with the grills. It also comes with speaker wire, a bag of screws, and some butyl for those grills. We made front speaker brackets. The bracket that fits is the Best Kits BK-NSB 710. It's a Nissan standard mount speaker bracket. It has these oval shaped holes here so that you can line it up nice and easy. And it sticks out about an inch, which it needs in order to clear the metal in the door. However, Fernando would like to do something a little bit more elaborate than just this. I'm like, okay, whatever you'd like. So we're gonna scan this in. So we can have the basic shape we need. We'll keep this handy because we are gonna need some measurements of it just so we can get the scale. Drop a circle on the page, take our measurement across, and we'll add those measurements to our circle. And that will be our base point for our trace. By knowing this, we can now get all our measurements that we're gonna require. Add in an XY, drop our trace in. We'll stretch this to size. Now that we have it lined up, add in all of these and erase anything. He wanted to add this little ground zero tab here to the bottom. We'll cut this out of some quarter inch. And then to make up the distance, we're gonna add this guy here, which is the Best Kits BKSG650DX half inch spacer to it. And that'll get us really close to the depth of this. And this is the exact same circumference as the factory one. I'm gonna print off a sample of this out of MDF and let's see what it looks like. And this is what our draft looks like, lining up here to make sure that these screw holes work. This has a countersink built into it. That's so that when we put the screw in, the head doesn't stick up and we can still put our new speaker in here flat. Match it up to our existing. It's the exact same size as we would hope. I've test fitted on the door to make sure that this isn't in the way of anything because these are gonna sit towards the bottom of the door, which you'll see. Now all I need to do is print out four of these and quarter inch and we'll be all set. The rear speaker up in the rear deck was a six by nine that we weren't replacing. If you have the four speakers in the doors, they're all the same, which is this guy right here. It has a standard magnet. It's all plastic. It's all made to fit, even though it's like a six inch in here, a regular six inch won't fit in the door. It has the wizard cone here for creating the high frequencies, plastic cone, butyl rubber surround. I mean, it's not the worst speaker there is. I mean, it's a decent sized magnet. They are two ohm from the 
factory. That's something that Nissan loves to do is put two ohm speakers in their cars. Gets a little bit more power out of them. But what that means is when you're going to replace it and keeping the factory radio, if you just put a four ohm speaker in there, it might not do as well. You can counter that by going with something like this, a three ohm speaker, and then if it's more efficient, it might be the same volume, just obviously sound better. They have, don't put the efficiency on these, but they do say 50 watts, whatever that means. So this is what we're gonna replace it with. We do have a bigger magnet, but we are going with more power on these. These handle about double the power that these do. With the foam added to both the back of the plate and the back of the speaker, we added in our half inch spacer, got our speaker all attached. I can hand these off to Fernando and he can get them into the car. Grommet right here is super easy to get through, so we ran a new wire into the car for our stereo. But this guy is all mounted. The ground zero is at the bottom here on this one, so it looks really sharp. Now we can get the door panel back on. One other speaker we have to make a bracket for is this. This is the little two and a half inch square speaker that goes up on the dash. Well, after taking some measurements of it, we designed this guy here, and then we cut it out of MDF just to make sure it fits. We went with logos all the way around it, and we cut them out of eighth inch acrylic, black. The next step is to tape off the whole area here. We're gonna spray paint these logos silver so they'll match the door logos as well. After a little time in the spray booth, we spray painted all of these logos silver so they really pop. Put the tweeter in place. It has little fingers that you push on a little metal ring here that holds it in. And then we added some foam so that it doesn't twist because we wanna make sure that the logo stays right. Again, even though no one will ever see it, we still want it to look nice if someone ever does see it. We also soldered on some speaker wire. We're gonna make our connection for this down in the kick panel so this will just snake down into that put the factory bolts back in and this guy will be all set i'm gonna hand this over to fernando so we can get it into the dash you got the tweeter i got the tweeter right here get this tweeter out of this car it's not the funnest thing in the world you have to remove the a pillar which is this piece right here and there is these airbag clips and they go into this hole right here to get them out you have to turn the airbag clip 45 degrees and then it'll slide out. But as you can see, it's rather thick plastic and it really doesn't want to do that. Once you've gotten that out though, the, the pillar comes out super easy and then you can unsnap the grill. And you have the little photo sensors in each corner you have to unplug. And this will be the last time anyone sees that snazzy panel.